Hi and welcome to another feeding video. The spider collector here. I'm going to be feeding my king baboon tarantula. It is Pelinibus mutitious. I hope that the seat's on camera. You can see it's, uh, it's down there in the bottom corner. Around about there. As you can see this one's a, a borrower. It's only a temporary enclosure for as well until she gets a little, little bit bigger. I've got a couple of book bags today to show you. I've got uh, my Ibrapora Diversipes has Shed, which is my pink toe. Yeah. Amazon Sapphire Pink Toe. The Ibrapora, Ibrapora Diversities, and also I've got an update on my curly hair, the one that uh, Brachiopelma albopolis, albopolis, the one that uh, got stuck in its smolt last week, and also I've had another shed, a malt, two malts, I should I say, my Mexican fire leg, Brachiopelma bohemi. So yeah, I've had a, a couple of updates the end towards the end of this week now. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got about five teas that are actually in uh, pre-malt at the moment. So I'm more I'm all excited and uh, looking forward to them malting. Also my Postletherium metallica. Um, I didn't manage to get its first uh, feed since I uh, brought her as a sling recently. Yeah. I didn't manage to get it on film. Um, literally, as I, I put the the cricket in, gone downstairs, come back upstairs, and it had already uh, already grabbed it. So I missed all the action, unfortunately. I will get it, but uh, it takes time. Also. My Cerotogyrus meridionalis, I think, is in pre malt as well. So I haven't seen much of her either, obviously, because she's an obligate burrower. I don't see much of her, so when and if the chance arises for me to capture some footage of her, I will do. I'll uh, upload it pretty much straight away. So. I don't know if this is actually going to take its meal down. Also a big shout out and a thank you to all my recent and latest subscribers. It means a lot. I'm very appreciated of the fact that you watch my channel. So also stay tuned for my competition. It's still active for UK residents only, unfortunately. Um, the 100th subscriber will get a tarantula by me. 
So I'll send them a free tarantula and my 100th subscriber. I'm going to be doing more future videos in the future. So uh, don't forget to hit that notifications button and like, share and subscribe. If you wouldn't mind, please. And I think what we'll do is we'll uh, possibly come back to this. At the moment. going to feed not on the light anyway. as soon as I put the light on the uh, on the tea it pretty much scarped for its hole so yeah what I'm gonna do is let eat in, in peace and I'm gonna go on to the next one I'll give you a little update later on and uh, show you if it it at or not Bit of footage for you later. <clears throat> right. Next is Brachypelma bohemi. Now I'm not going to be doing this isn't a feeding. This is just to show you how small that is and that's just shed as well Tiny, isn't they? I think that was 0.5 of a centimetre. So it's now literally, I'd say, probably just under a centimetre, give or take. But yeah, they're really, really delicate at that age. As you can see. So that is the Brachypelma homori. Is the homori? Yep. Behemi, should I say. My bad. All these Latin words drive me mad sometimes. I think it's the only good, decent way of properly identifying a, uh, a genus. A spider correctly anyway there's so many different names for the different species that they genuses that they have now you can never actually be positive to the one you're actually looking at or owning unless you have it in latin names you guaranteed them pretty much right Next update is my Brachiopelma abapalosum. And if you have a look correctly, you see it's got like a little twizzled back leg. Now I think the back leg is going to drop off. I'm not 100%, but I think it will. So it's. I managed to pull off. This was the man, the one I managed to free up from its malt. Oh, bear with me. So 
Sorry little buddy, I know you don't like the light. But you're just showing everybody your little your back leg. And updating how you're doing. And yeah. Pretty much apart from that, I think I think she'll be alright. I did try to get the back off her leg. The, the, the bit of malt off by wetting it in it but I didn't want to wet it too much just in case it did any damage to the spider by being too too wet for too long so I decided to drop that idea in the end I did what I could and got the back A of the abdomen off which was the main part and I know that most tarantulas can live quite well and, and get around quite easily with a minus a leg they'll just grow it back on their next shed so my main concern was to get it off the abdomen because that's quite an important place for it to get be stuck on so but yeah as you can see it's doing all good fine so yeah happy days to can move this out of the way because I know this one's not not too much of a Johnny one legger. As you can see, the spot is about up there. I don't want to disturb her too much because she has literally she molted. Um, today is Saturday, so she molted literally last night. So she's still hardening up. Um, her markings she's got like a red slightly a red burgundy abdomen now and she's more more of a turquoise color than before she was she was quite like a, a bluey turquoise she's more of a turquoise now less blue that i've noticed in the colors was anyway so yeah i think she's getting on really really well I'm hoping. But yeah, I think the markings on these are absolutely fantastic. Excuse me. Let's see what else I can update you on. I might be out there. See some of the colours on that. Like I said, the colours on this spider are absolutely phenomenal. If I can get my camera to focus, yeah. Sorry about the shaking, but yeah. Anyway, that is the Ebrapore Diverse Piece. And a fresh malt. I'll give you another update in a day or so, a couple of days. So, 
Anyway, as always, it's been emotional, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, all the best.